this this thing on Etsy generated seven hundred eighty dollars in sales and only sold six products. Okay. This one right here sold twenty three times this month three hundred eighty four dollars. What are those? Okay, what are those two listings? Wait, they're digital avatars. So you basically give an image of whatever you want. It can be a couple, it can be uh, just a person, it can be whatever you want it, and then you ask AI to kind of make this an image in a specific style. So this is an avatar of a like a Pixar character kind of, and then you list it on Etsy. Etsy it's a marketplace brings people in brings traffic in and then you sell for money okay so this is something that I told you in my previous video I asked you guys to give me comments if you want to see a tutorial for this and this is the video look I'm even wearing the same jacket they told you guys to say the word Photoshop if you want to see the tutorial and there's so many people that left the word Photoshop so I was like okay there's so many people asking for it we gotta provide instructions so in this video I'm gonna show you how to make digital avatars using mid journey and how to sell them on Etsy for money. Before we start though, one thing, go to dropspingle.com. Why? Because you're going to get more resources and more training and stuff like that. This is usually where I post all my tutorials. This is also where we have a community that will teach you how to make money on Etsy and TikTok and other marketplaces too. Basically all my wisdom in one place, the community, the meanings, all the good stuff. Just go to the dropspingle.com and learn all the good stuff because you get a lot for a very, very low price but hey listen this video is gonna cover everything you need to know as well so don't worry about it I give a lot of stuff for free and if you want to see results of my next Etsy store it's selling something completely different from digital characters and clip art and print on men say the word results in the chat and I'm gonna reveal my next Etsy store and how much money I make from it because you guys are really interested in this and I have a bunch of these Etsy stores I can share with you just say the word results I'm gonna share it in my next video okay but let's get to the business so there's actually a couple different ways that you can make the digital avatars. There's not just like one style, okay? So this is, for example, this one, like I would call it a gamer VTuber avatar. This is the one we were originally looking at. So I'm using Everby, which is the product research tool, right? It's the best product research tool. You guys have to get it. If you want to be serious about Etsy, I have a link that's going to give you a discount if you use my link for Everby. But anyway, this one sold six times at this month and 182 times in total, okay? I studied review and it's doing very well but this is just like one style this is what I would call a gamer avatar but as you can see this store is selling a couple different custom vtuber avatars not just one that's because they want to get more money here's for example another one this is the one we actually talk about in my previous video this one has sold 16 times this month 120 times in total and it generated 480 bucks here's another one the pixel style this one sold 104 times this month and it generated 13 hundred dollars this month so this is really cool because custom listings on Etsy are very in demand and you can charge more money than for example when you try to sell clip art which is only cost like two three dollars custom avatars it's way more money you can charge way more money and it's actually not that hard to make them because we have tools like mid journey that can easily create these avatars and I'm gonna show you how so let's say you want to sell these Pixar style clip art okay this is what you want to do first thing that you're gonna need is a prompt like the style of the image so we want the Pixar style image what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply take a screenshot of this and go to mid journey on discord we're gonna use the discord mid journey and the mid journey on the website because some features are not allowed on the website one but the website one is in my opinion better it's just faster to work with but to generate the prompt we need to use the discord one so this is my discord mid journey and we're gonna use a very specific command called describe which allows you to upload the sample to mid journey then based on that sample is going to create the prompt so i'm going to upload a sample of that screenshot that i just took and let's see if mid journey can come up with some prompts for that image okay come up with four different prompts let's just click on imagine all and let's see what they actually look like in real life so mid journey is working on them and let's see if the final results and based on our final results we're going to pick the best one and then we're going to use it to create a custom image images that we want to okay so here are the results they all kind of look the same to be honest so it doesn't really matter which we pick they all look very similar so all I'm gonna do is just gonna copy one of these prompts so let's actually say I want to copy this one okay and we're gonna modify it a little bit 
so we can get the final version. Okay, so I just copy and pasted the prompt in uh, like a Google Doc so I can see the text and I can modify it. So let's read it. Happy white man and pink beanie black glasses. We don't care about that because we are not describing a person. And a light brown beat stands with next to African woman. Okay, we don't need to care anything about the people because so far we are don't have any people. They're both smiling with Eiffel Tower in the background. This is insignificant too. And a style of Pixar cartoon. Honestly, this is all we need. And a style of Pixar cartoon. That's actually what we're looking for, okay? The whole prompt, honestly, is just this part right here. And a style of Pixar cartoon. So sometimes it all it takes is just like one sentence, like right here, that it's important, it's gonna describe the prompt. But other times you need a whole line of text. So even though right now I just needed this one sentence that just says in the Pixar style cartoon, don't get used to that because it all depends on the style of image you're trying to recreate. Okay, so let's say my listing is gonna offer Pixar style custom digital avatar on custom background. So if my customer wants to have a background in Paris, they can get in Paris. But maybe some people will want to have a background in, I don't know, Japan, I can do the Japan one. Let's now use my photo and my face and try to create a picture of me with the Pixar style image in Japan. We're gonna go to Mid Journey, but this time we're gonna use the website, the Mid Journey, and I'm gonna upload an image of me. And as you can see, here's my picture, right? This is my avatar that I use on YouTube. You have to click on this button right here that says use as a character reference. And now I'm gonna copy this prompt, paste it. I'm also gonna say that I want the character to have Tokyo in the background. And let's see what happens. Okay, so Mid Journey is working on my avatar. So here are the results and um, I would say the closest thing that's most similar to me is probably this one right here. As you can see, it's using a lot of red. That is because the image I upload, it has a lot of redness. The best way to do it is to upload the most generic photo of you or the person that you, or your customer. So let's actually try this again with a different photo of me. Okay, so this time around, I'm gonna upload more realistic photo of me when I was bold. And again, I'm using the same prompt and let's see what type of results we're gonna get. The main point is to get the pixel style image of myself. So I hope we're gonna get this, okay? Okay, so the first results we got, <laughs> I mean, this doesn't look like me, okay? I'm, I am not that fat, okay? I, I am a little bit chubby, but not like this. So I didn't like it. So what I did, I uploaded the, the original photo. I mean, this one and this one together, I used them as a reference. And this looks more like me, okay? This looks more like uh, someone who is like me. So th this, this is pretty close. So I would download this image now and give it to my customer and be like, hey, here's the avatar, you know? However, sometimes you will need to edit the photo because I don't know, Mid Journey is not perfect. So what I do is I edit them in Photoshop. So let me show you how. So let's say I wanna make myself bold. So I'm gonna select the area that I want to my hair to be removed. So I'm gonna select all the hair I have right here, right? And then I'm gonna use the generate fill and I'm gonna say, make this person bold. Okay, no, bold, it's spelled like this, right? Or this, I'm actually not sure. And give it a couple of seconds. And voila, now I am bold, okay? I have no hair, okay? I don't know if I like this image, but uh, yeah, that's how this works. So there you have it. This is how you create custom avatars. Again, you can charge more money for those and they sell like hotcakes on Etsy. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also consider joining dropshringguild.com where you can have access to more trainings, our community, our weekly meetings. You can talk to me, other members, and just be a cool person because only cool people are in our community, okay? Go to dropshringguild.com, learn how to join, and I'll see you there. Ciao.